Happy Monday, friends. I hope that you have had the best day. I am going to start with a huge announcement. If you haven't seen it, the newest Plexus baby has been born. Reed was born this morning. Lexi and Dylan had their baby or Lexi did. Dylan was there. But if you haven't seen, she posted on Facebook. So you can go over there and see how cute he is. Everything went very smoothly. So we will just pray that their transition from three to four kids goes so smoothly. So excited for them. Tonight, we are going to chat about how pretty much everything is better together in one way or another. I'm just going to start with a quote that maybe you've heard or maybe you haven't, but alone we can do so little together we can do so much from Helen Keller and that can apply to nearly every single aspect of our lives whether it is our health our mental health our friendships parenting our work our fitness goals our health goals our financial goals everything that we do we can do better together. And I want you to think about your community, not just as your Plexus community. Yes, we love our Plexus community, but your community all around you. So you have, and I'm, maybe you've heard it before, but you are most like the five people that you are closest with whether that is good or bad or indifferent, maybe they don't impact you either way, but it does play a huge impact on your goals in your life. If you are around four smokers, you will be the fifth. If you hang out with four people who go swimming every single Wednesday morning, chances are you will be the fifth person who goes and swims every Wednesday morning. You are bound by nature to be very similar to them. Not always, but almost always. So I want you to think about who you want to be in community with. And I want you to invite other people into your community. If you are a teacher and you are out for summer and you are wanting to focus on your health goals, and you go for walks, I want you to invite one person to go for walks with you. Or if you're going to the park, text other people and let them know that you are going to the park. It doesn't always have to be something super, super planned, but if you find joy in it, there is a very good chance that one of your close friends will also find joy in it or relief or excitement or honestly just not feeling alone because being together brings us a sense of purpose instead of sitting at home being alone in our thoughts we get to be out and about in the sunshine fresh air or around other people that make us feel less alone and then we feel more connected to them and we have a purpose to go to the park go to book club go to church group go camping with our friends, whatever it is that brings you joy. I want to challenge you to pencil it in on the calendar because I know that sometimes with our crazy schedules, it doesn't always align, but sometimes it does. And it is so nice when you get to be around people. I mean, drop a comment and let me know how much more fun it is to do things with other friends, not necessarily just for accountability, but just to be in community, to be in a room with somebody who brings you joy. Like the person who, when you are done hanging out with them or being around them, you just feel uplifted by being in their presence. So what I want you to challenge yourself to do is to be around the people who bring you joy and make you feel like you want to do better in this world. So I'm going to challenge you to come up with 
some things that you can do that you're already doing. Maybe you go for walks every day at a certain time, or maybe you go to the park or you go to the library or whatever you do. I'm going to challenge you between now and next Monday, which is the holiday, to invite one person to do something with you, whatever it is. Invite them over just to hang out. Maybe you're going to be cleaning. Maybe you're going to be hanging out in your garden. Like the things that you can learn from watching somebody else garden is absolutely fascinating to me because I know so little. So it's just like absorption of knowledge that makes us be better. And I want you to also be on the lookout for other fun community things that we are going to be, oh yes, needing all the great flowers now, which those are irises. They're old fashioned irises that smell like grapes. Taylor was just introduced to those. <laughs> but I want you to be on the lookout in success starts with you. We are going to be having some zoo days coming up. We're going to be having some picnic in the park days. And I know that not everybody lives in my community on my street. Some people live very close to me, like I would say close in Nebraska and Colorado ishness time zones. Close to me is like an hour away, okay? Because we drive everywhere. I'm used to driving everywhere. So if you're within an hour, I would say that that's close. And if I am in community and want to be with my friends and around like minded people, I'm willing to drive to them to be around them have my kids be around their kids to just be uplifted and feel good. So we have a zoo day planned. You can put it on your calendar um, for June 13th. It's going to be at the Lincoln Zoo. And this is not just for people who are in Plexus. It's for everybody. If you have a sister who hasn't decided she wants to do Plexus, it's for everybody. So if you want to go to the zoo, that's the day that we're going to go to the zoo. Maybe you can only come for the morning or, I mean, I don't know how long the day is going to last, but we are going to do a zoo day in Lincoln on June 13th. Stay tuned for more details of that, but you can put it on your calendar. And then we're also going to do a picnic in the park in Wahoo on June 26th. So that'll probably be like noonish time for lunchtime and then the kids can get back home for nap time and all that jazz. But I want to challenge you to do something in your community. If you are not close to me, I want you to go to the zoo near you. It doesn't have to be a big zoo. We aren't going to our biggest zoo because it's a little wild at the biggest zoo. But if you have a splash pad, if you have a coffee, like plan a coffee morning in your community. I love coffee shops and I don't even drink coffee. I love the smell of coffee. I cannot stand the taste of coffee, but I love the vibe of a coffee shop or a backyard Bible night or a um, campfire night. It's been very wet here on this side of Nebraska, so we can have all the fires that we want right now until we go into a burn ban, you know, in August. It's fine. But I want to challenge you to get in the room or around somebody that you love being around, just your friends, your family. And sometimes our biggest encouragers are not our family, and that's okay. We can love them from afar. And still have friends that want to hang out. People think that I'm crazy. My family think that I'm crazy. It's fine. I am. And I'm going to find other crazy people to hang out with who love being around me. And I want to be around because that is the joy of life. And I want to challenge you to be in the room at the biggest party with the most people at convention. If you have not gotten your convention ticket you still can. If you are on the fence of it and you can't figure out if you really want to go, you do. You will never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> yeah. <cute. laughs> yes. It's going to be a party. You will never regret it. I promise you that. 
some people are iffy about Vegas, but honestly, you don't even have to go out and experience the nightlife of Vegas if you don't want to. There's so many different fun things to do to be around like-minded people. And if there's anything that ever comes out of convention, it is surrounding yourself with inspirational people. You will find teachers, you will find people who came from nothing, who have grown into everything. You have people who had life pulled out from underneath of them. You're going to find nurses, housekeepers, stay-at-home moms, doctors, lawyers, every walk of life you will run into, and you are going to have a connection with every single person. And I'm not lying. There are people that I'm like, this is so crazy like one little connector. We are connected to everybody in one way or another, whether it's just being married or being a middle child or having German shepherds who are absolutely bananas, whatever it is, living in a small town, growing up in a big city. I just want to challenge you to be in community. And if you are feeling isolated, I really, really, really want you to reach out to me, to Jeannie, to Lexi, And just let us know how we can pray for you if you are feeling lonely, because we've all been there. We've all felt isolated. We've all been on our thoughts. And when we are surrounded by positive community, life is so much brighter, even on the thunderstormy days. Who's all going to convention? Ah, and Carrie, you got a free one, didn't you? That is so exciting. Taylor's going. Vanessa, you're going? Yes. I think she's driving, so she can't uh, unmute. It's going to be so fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Who's going to come to the zoo with us? Zoo day. Zoo day is going to be so fun. It's going to be an absolute zoo. That's what I'm going to tell you. I can already, I can already see it. It's just going to be a zoo. It's fine. Snacks and kids. That's all you need. What is one thing that you are going to do this week to invite your friends to? I couldn't hear anything that you said. Could other people hear her? I think your connection is poor. Yes. Coffee day. I love it, Carrie. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like with the warm days coming, as long as it's not super windy, I really want to go walk around the lake. So the second that it's not going to blow me off the trail, we're going to get out to the lake. Oh, yes. Garage sailing. That. I'm down for that. I want to come. I want to come. Yes. I love garage sales. Yes. It can be as simple as anything. Like. I saw that these people are having a garage sale and I know that she has similar taste to you. I know some people hate garage sales, but I'm here for it. All of my outfits for convention will be from a garage sale, my own closet, or the Goodwill because I'm not buying brand new. Ever. Never, ever. And tailors. And tailors. Right? Her hats, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to hear about whatever it is that you do with your friends. It's going to be so fun. And I just can't wait to hear how you feel after you hang out with one of your friends, because it's always more fun to hang out with them than it is to be at home or to go on a walk by yourself. 